Hey guys, welcome to Nathan's Car Care. I'm Nathan, and today I'm going to show you a quick tip for how you can help keep your wheels just a little bit cleaner. So if you're like me and you have ceramic brakes on your vehicle, you deal with a little bit more brake dust than regular brakes will give you. And that is reflected on your wheels. They get dirty a lot quicker. Plus then that dirt is a little more difficult to get off. That's where this comes in. It's non-stick film from DuPont. It's basically Teflon coating. What you can do is you can spray your rims with this and that will cut down on the amount of brake dust that sticks to them. Let me show you. So this wheel here is untreated and as you can see it has brake dust all over it. It's got it in the nooks and crannies, it's got it on the outside surface, has it all over the whole entire wheel. Now this one on the other hand has been treated with the DuPont non-stick spray and as you can tell it still does have a little bit of brake dust on there but it's a lot less visible than the one that is not treated. So before we can treat these, we're gonna go ahead and wash them and get them nice and clean, and then we'll go ahead and spray it down. So in order for the Teflon to stick, we really need to degrease these. So I'm gonna use a high concentration of Dawn dish soap. If you want to use a specific degreaser, that'll work as well, but the important thing is we get these super clean so that the film will stick to it and not to any leftover dirt or oils that is on it. Okay, so the Teflon's not going to stick to a wet surface, so make sure that these are thoroughly dried before we continue. Our wheel is now nice and dry. I went ahead and dried it off with paper towels. So now we can go ahead and spray on our non-stick dry film lubricant with Teflon Fluor Polymer from DuPont. As you can see, it says dry, clean, non-oil and coating, repels grit and grime, reduces sliding friction, bonds to surface. And the secret that really makes this stuff work is that it is a 100% dry coating. So once it dries, it's dry. Make sure you do read the back of the can for instructions and warnings because this stuff is extremely flammable in its liquid state. So make sure you read the back of the can well. All you basically have to do is shake it and then spray it on, let it dry for a couple seconds, and then you're good to go. Now I did check with DuPont. This stuff is no longer flammable once it's dried, so you don't have to worry about brake heat. So now that Teflon is dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take a clean paper towel and just buff it off. Because there is a slight white haze that it leaves, and we can just buff that off and it will return back to the normal color. So you don't have to buff off the film. In fact, if you don't, it will last it a little longer and it will work a little better. But a lot of people don't like the slight white haze, so you can do it if you want. So that's about it for today's video. Don't forget you can pick up the DuPont non-stick Teflon spray down in the link in the description below. I've got a link to it on my Amazon web store, you can get it there. When you purchase from that link, a small portion of the sale comes back to me and helps support the channel, so make sure you get it from that link. Alright guys, if you enjoyed that video, you know what to do. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and share the video with all your friends. Don't forget to check out NathansCarCare.com where there's a lot of great links and helpful resources for all my previous videos. Also, don't forget to check out my Amazon web store, which is linked down in the description. You can also get to it from my website. There's a lot of great things on there, such as all the different items that I use on my various videos. So until next time, this is Nathan, signing off.